Hi, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Ibrahim Sagwalaji and I'm the founder of Volta Technologies. In this tutorial video today, I'm going to show you how I solve the board light machine on Actibox. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's get started. So I'm going to log in into my Actibox uh, machine by going to app.actibox slash machine and I'm going to sign in into my account. So once I'm successfully signed in, I'm going to choose the machine which I will be hacking today. So I'm going to navigate to Botlight and I'm going to click on the Botlight machine. So once the Botlight machine has been uh, successfully um, logged in into, I'm going to click on Connect to HTB and I'm going to click on Machine. So I'm going to click on Open VPN and I'm going to download the VPN file. So once the VPN file has been successfully downloaded, I'm going to click on the open folder and I'm going to navigate to the download directory. In the download directory, I'm going to see the lab access file which I've just downloaded. So I'm going to right click on this file and I'm going to rename this file to botlight.ovpn and I'm going to click on rename. So once the file has been successfully renamed, I'm going to navigate to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder. So this new folder, I'm going to call this new folder botlight dot botlight htb and i'm going to click on the create button so once this directory has been created i'm going to navigate back to my download directory and i'm going to copy this botlight.ovpn file so i'm going to call this and i'm going to go back to my desktop and i'm going to paste it right inside the botlight htb directory so once the file has been successfully uh, pasted the next thing i want to do is i want to open the terminal right inside the directory so i'm going to type sudo sudo open vpn botlight.ovpn and i'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard so i'm going to type in my kali linux password and this is going to establish the connection between my kali linux uh, machine and at the box uh, server so i'm going to click on the refresh button to verify if this connection was successful so this is going to show the number of active connection on at the box so the next thing i want to do is i want to start my target machine which is the bot light uh, machine which we are going to try to act today so i'm going to click on machine and i'm going to look for the bot light uh, machine so right here i have the bot light i'm going to click on the bot light uh, machine and i'm going to click on join machine so i'm going to click on join machine and i will be assigned an ip address of 10.10.11.11 .11. so this is the ip address so the next thing i want to do is i want to go back to my uh, terminal and inside the terminal i'm going to split the screen into two so i'm going to perform nmap enumeration by typing nmap tag sv 10.10.11.11 .11, and i'm going to hit the enter key on my keyboard so this is going to search for all the open ports that are available on our target machine which is 10.10.11.11 .11. so while the scan is currently going on in the background i'm going to add the 10.10.11.11 .11 in my etc host file so to do this i'm going to click on the uh, terminal button and i'm going to type sudo nano etc slash host and i'm going to type the password of my color linux so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add the ip address of 10.10 dot 11 dot 11 and i'm going to type the url of botlight dot htb and once this has been completed i'm going to hold the ctrl x and y on my keyboard and i'm going to save the file so i'm going to exit this and i'm going to go back to my previous terminal so right here we have uh three ports uh, open on our uh, target uh, machine so we have port 22 and also we have uh, port 80 so next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go back to my browser and inside the browser i'm going to type 10.10.11.11 .11, and i'm going to hit the enter key so this is going to redirect us to botlight uh, website and we can see the welcome message on the website botlight is a cyber security consulting firm specializing in providing cutting edge security solutions to protect your business from cyber threats so i'm going to go uh, around the website to see if we can find any information 
that can help us in solving this machine so unfortunately i couldn't find anything so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click and i'm going to inspect the html codes to see if uh, we can find any user flag or the root flag inside so i'm going to navigate inside one of these uh, html tags and i couldn't find anything so i'm going to close this and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to perform gobuster dns uh, enumeration to find out all other uh, urls that might be associated to 10.10.11.11 .11. so i'm going to click on my terminal and once my terminal has been successfully uh, launched i'm going to type gobuster dns botlight http and i'm going to scan this against a uh, subdomain top 1,020,000.txt file and i'm going to hit the enter key so this is going to perform the gobuster dns enumeration and this is going to find other urls that might be associated with 10.10.11.11 uh, .11. so this is going to take a while and while this is currently going on we would probably have to wait for about two minutes or three minutes So uh, pending the time this scan is uh, going to complete. So I found crm.bodlight.htb as uh, one of the domains while uh, scanning uh, the target IP address. So I'm going to split this uh, screen into two and I'm going to type sudo nano etc. So I'm going to type the password of my color Linux and I'm going to append crm.bodlight. Board.htb and I'm going to click Ctrl X and Y on my keyboard. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my browser and I'm going to type crm.board.htb and I'm going to hit the enter key. Uh, so looking at crm.board.htb, we found out that this website was developed using Dolibar 17.0.0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in with the default uh, username and uh, password credentials using admin admin. So for the username, I'm going to use admin and also for the password, I'm going to use admin to see if we can log in into the website. So I'm going to click on the login uh, button and let's see if we are going to be signing. So right here we've uh, successfully signed in into crm.bot.htb and right here we have an error message access denied you try to access to a page area or feature of a disabled module or without being in an unauthenticated uh, session or that is not allowed to your user so right here we can't perform uh, any operation we can click on the setup tab we can click on the admin tool and also we can click on the users and group so what i'm going to do is i'm going to search for dolibar 17.00 vulnerability or exploit so i'm going to go to my uh, browser and i'm going to type dolibra 17.0 exploits and i found a github repository so i'm going to click on code and i'm going to click on copy url to clipboard so i'm going to minimize my uh, terminal and also i'm going to minimize this as well so i will navigate to the board uh, light htb folder that i've created and i'm going to clone my uh, repository so to clone my repository I'm going to right click inside the botlight uh, directory and I'm going to click on open terminal here. So inside here, I'm going to type uh, git clone and I'm going to paste the link which I've just copied on my GitHub repository. So I'm going to paste the link and I'm going to hit the enter key. So this is going to create a new folder inside the uh, botlight HTB. So I'm going to navigate inside and right here we have two files. The first file is exploit.py and the second file is readme.md. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on open terminal here. So once the terminal has been opened, I'm going to list out all the files we have right here and we have the readme.md and we have the exploit.py. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the Python 3, uh, then followed by exploit.py and the URL of the website where we want to log in into, which is httpcrm.bo.htb. So the username is admin and also the password is admin. 
so now we need to find the ip address of my kali linux machine so to find the ip address i'm going to run the ifconfig command so i'm going to open this in new uh, terminal and i'm going to type ifconfig so right here i have 10.10.15.1 so i'm going to exit this and uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to type 10.10.15.1 and i'm going to set the port to 444 so before I clicked on this, I'm going to open a new terminal and I'm going to listen at port 444. So I'm going to click on my terminal and I'm going to type uh, netcat and it should listen at uh, 444. So I'm going to hit the enter key and I'm going to minimize this. So I'm going to click on OK and this is going to establish the reversal. So I'm going to minimize, I'm going to go back to my previous uh, terminal and right here i got the reversal at port 444 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, stabilize the shell by typing python 3 taxi import pty and column pty.span and i'm going to pass the bin bash right inside the shell and I'm going to hit the enter key. So once the shell has been uh, successfully uh, established, oh, I forgot to close this. So I'm going to type it one more time. So I'm going to have Python 3 taxi, and I'm going to have the import pty column pty dot spawn, and I'm going to pass the bin bash, and I'm going to press the enter key on my keyboard. So right here, once this has been uh, passed, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to list all the files. And right here, we only have index.php and we have style.css.php. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my directory to the root uh, directory and I'm going to press enter. So once I'm in the uh, root directory, I'm going to read uh, the file from var www and I'm going to read this from uh, HTML and crm.board.htb and i'm going to reach this from htdocs and also i'm going to uh, read this from the directory config and the name of the file i want to read is config.php so i'm going to press the enter key and right here i have uh, the result of the configuration or I have the content of the configuration.php file so right here we found the database username as Doliba uh, Rona, and we also found the database password as server phone two dollar sign uh, 2023 and two exclamation mark. So I'm going to copy this, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this as card, and I'm going to pass etc password, and I'm going to grab uh, this with bash, and I'm going to hit the enter key. So right here we have uh, Larissa and uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to navigate to uh, Larissa. So I'm going to try to change to Larissa by typing super user Larissa and I'm prompted to type in my password. So I'm going to type the password and right here I had got Larissa at board light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press LS and I have HTML. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to the root directory and I'm going to press LS. So right here, I have uh, several directories and I also I have the user.txt file. So to read the content of the user.txt file, I'm going to type cat user.txt and I'm going to press the enter key. So right here, we got the user.txt flag. So the next thing we want to do is we want to find the uh, root user.txt file, the root flag uh, root.txt file. So to do this, I'm going to type find forward slash tag type f tag pam and tag u is equals to s so i'm going to type 2 and i'm going to forward this to dev forward slash null and i'm going to hit the enter key so this is going to search all the directories and right here we found our uh, enlightenment underscore system so what i need to do now is i need to find a vulnerability that is associated with enlightenment underscore system so I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to go back to my uh, browser. So on my browser, I'm going to search for 
enlightenment underscore system or vulnerability so i'm going to click on my firefox browser and i'm going to search for enlightenment super user id exploit and i'm going to hit the enter key so i have the exploit database so i'm going to click on the exploit database and this is going to uh, display the content of this page so right here we found this uh code so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this uh, make directory and i'm going to copy this so i'm going to go back to my shell and inside the shell i'm going to paste this and i'm going to press enter so next i'm going to copy under code so i'm going to copy this one more time and i'm going to go back to my show sorry so i'm going to paste this right here and i'm going to hit the enter key so i'm going to go back to my firefox browser inside my firefox browser i'm going to copy this code as well so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to go back inside the show and i'm going to paste this so i'm going to press enter and i'll go back to my firefox browser one more time and i'm going to copy this as well so i'm going to paste this and i'm going to hit the enter key so i'm going to go back and right here we have the location of the file and we should pass this code right here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back right inside my reverse shell and i'm going to copy the path of this file so i'm going to copy this and i'm going to paste it right here so i'm going to press space to give uh, a space between this code and the other one i want to copy from here so i'm going to copy this code right here and i'm going to right click and choose the option copy so i'm going to go back and before pasting this code I'm going to edit this inside my text editor because the codes are on different lines. So I want to make sure the codes are on the same line before pasting it. So I'm going to go to line two and I'm going to edit this and space it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to edit this and space it as well. So once they are on the same line, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back to my reverse shell and I'm going to paste this right here and hit the enter key. So right here, I got the uh, root root shell so what i'm going to do is i'm going to press ls and right here i have desktop so i'm going to change this to root folder and i'm going to hit the enter key so right here i'm inside the root and i'm going to press ls so right here i have my root.txt file and i'm going to type cat root.txt to read the content of the root flag so right here i got the root.txt flag if you really enjoyed this video, please do not forget to like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you in the next tutorial video. Thank you.